11 odd kilometers of the best test track facilities in the country. 421 PS, 500 Newton meters, a hot hatch to rule them all and just 10 minutes to take it all in. So the pro and con of having a really short drive like this is that you jump right into the thick of the action and our first experience with the A45S is essentially a high speed run. We're at the Natrex, we're on the banking. The car's in comfort. And we're inching past 270. It says it's electronically limited to 270, but we've just hit 278. This hand-built 2-liter AMG engine really stands out versus the 2-liter turbo engines that are also in the A35 sedan and the GLA35. Now it is up on par versus the previous CLA45 and GLA45 that were once available in India. But this is the first time that the S is available in India. This is what you need to know about the AMG A45S. It's the most power that anyone, anywhere has ever got out of a four-cylinder engine. And given that this is just two litres, They've managed to pull out 421 PS and 500 Newton meters of torque from it, which is just nuts when you think about it. Most two-liter four-cylinder engines that we are familiar with top out at 192 PS, 250 PS, 300 PS even. The previous generation of the car had about 370, 380 PS, and they've just pushed the boundaries with this thing. And for a car from factory, to be so highly tuned, that's really saying something. The best part is, it doesn't feel highly strong at all. For example, I'm at 100 kmph right now, the 8-speed DCT is in top gear and I'm just doing 1500 RPM. Even at its electronically limited top speed of 278 kmph on the clock, the engine's only at 5100 RPM and it definitely feels like it's got more in reserve. We were asked not to activate race start and launch the car hard on the high-speed track. But what we can tell you about the 8-speed AMG Speedshift 8G dual-clutch transmission is that shifts feel quicker than they do versus the 7-speed in the A35 or even the 8-speed in the GLA35. The real party trick of the A45S arrives when you switch to manual shifting, switch off ESP, go into race mode, pull in both paddles and say yes. Drift mode can send up to 80% of the torque to the rear wheels versus the lesser 35 models 50% maximum to the rear and it completely transforms the car's all-wheel drive characteristics to a near rear wheel drive experience despite having open differentials at the front and the rear. So you've got a twin clutch pack on the rear axle that helps split torque and actually help carry big smoky drifts like we saw Arjun Mani pull off. Now unfortunately that's not something that we can do today but for potential owners, it's something that's definitely worth its weight when they want to have a little more fun and change the dynamics of the car. But of course, when you put your foot down, you realize the might of this little engine. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, that's a pull from 120 and we're already at 180. 25, 225. And this thing is nuts! We've been fortunate enough to experience the AMG E63S, the big daddy AMG, right here at the high speed track at the Natrax. And for a 2 litre twin scroll turbocharged engine, man, this thing rips! <laughs> that's, that's a pull from 215 kmph and it's still going! Now what I can tell you from my experience with the E63S versus the A45S is that this thing feels properly alive. Now where that car feels almost like it's isolating you from the fact that you're doing 300 plus kmph, you definitely feel the speed in the A45 and that's what you want from a hot hatch. India's fastest hot hatch? Hell yeah! <laughs> I just can't get over how it accelerates from 200! Now you really can't tell much about a car's suspension setup from absolutely smooth tarmac like this but what you can tell is that there is this taut feeling that the car gives you it definitely makes the car feel alive and makes it feel 
agile and energetic. And at the end of the day, that's exactly what you want your hot hatch to feel like. And you want it to make you feel like pushing it. And I think the A45S has that feeling nailed down back. The A45S also has a widened track versus the regular A-Class hatch and is even wider than the A35 sedan for example, which means it's stable and tied down at the speeds it's capable of despite its agility and the sharp nature of the steering. Compared to the 35 models, the A45S gets the full AMG exterior treatment including the more aggressive Panamericana grille, functional air dams, side vents, larger wheels and double the number of exhaust exits at the rear. It sounds meaner and louder too, especially with the exhaust valves fully open. The interiors feel like an AMG should too, with AMG's Dynamica, Alcantara-like upholstery and piano black trim, the full AMG telematics package and excellent support from the bucket seat lookalikes. Space is adequate too, with more headroom than the A35. It should be, the dimensions sit between mid-size SUVs like the Hyundai Creta and Alcazar, so it's not exactly a small hatch. Its features list is fairly full too and shouldn't leave you wanting for much. I just got a completely unintended demonstration of the lane keep assist that the A45S is packaged with. So, when I let the wheel wander a little bit, yeah, it vibrates in my hand to let me know that I need to correct lane. With a price tag of Rs 79.5 lakh X showroom or about Rs 20 lakh over the lesser A35 and JLA35, one could argue that the performance differential, while large, can't really be exploited on our roads. But what you will feel right away is the difference in character with the AMG A45S. It's got that exuberance you expect from an AMG. And that should make it worth the price for a select few. Numbers are expected to be limited in any case. And I'm already jealous of the lucky future owners of this truly hot hatch.